Hi there Wargamers, it's Dan, Deathbringer Kane here, bringing you yet another unboxing in the X-Wing series, or from the X-Wing series rather. This time it is the Imperial Aces um, expansion pack. I've been looking forward to this one, because I'm quite up in my Imperial ships, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Let's get a quick look at the packaging. Really, really nice. Nice view of the ships. Not, not quite as... Um, Imposing as the Slave One Lambda Shuttle or even the Millennium Falcon packing because, um, well, to be honest, there's a great deal of wasted space here, but anyway, that's nothing much to be complained about. So, let's get this uh, open. So let's get the ships out, we'll have a look at the car components in a moment. Uh, first we're seeing the same kind of packaging that we get in the Slave 1 and Million Factor type boxes, but obviously that's for obvious reasons because of the size of the box. So let's get that plastic packaging out of the way, which I recommend to people to um, keep hold of because it does not half make um, transporting models to between places a lot easier. Well, I think, to be honest, I'm almost a bit disappointed with this um, print of you, excuse me, and let's uh, get this into shot. You see, on, on this side, your white engine or whatever that is, uh, is, is very white, but on this one it's even got, almost got a pink tinge to it. Which means I don't think that's, I don't know if it's just a bad copy I've got, but it looks rather nice at a distance, which is obviously the kind of distance to it, but you're not really going to scrutinise it that, that far, but it does look rather nice, nice being red colour scheme. And then let's have a look at the other one. Obviously just exactly the same as the other one. With just a red stripe, which we've seen before. Now if you bear with me a moment guys, I'm going to do a jump cut and I'm going to get a one of my previous unboxed uh, tightness steps out and we're going to have a comparison to that one. Alright guys, see it in a second. Right guys, I've got one of the original, my original tightness steps out of its packaging and uh, as you can see the base is the same, same mould, so it's the same model, but to be honest, I've noticed a little slight bit of um, that this one's actually slightly better, better paint job than this one. Whether or not it's just a, uh, whoops, this, whether just 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 a batch that I got mine, or or whether or not the it's just the technique of how how the the paint of these two. Obviously, the red stripe it could be pretty quick, pretty easily achieved on it on your own. Um, still, still not they're not terrible, but it's not to be. I don't think it's going to be bowled over by. So. That's the um, interceptors, guys. Get the two. You're getting a set in front of you. Still quite impressive. Still quite a, a nice piece to have. But to be honest, unless there's something fantastic in the um, in the you know the card components oh, and the rules, is it worth the um, cost of of a, one of the bigger ships? Well, we'll soon find out. So, I'm going to jump onto the car components, guys. So, we'll be there in a few. Bear with me a second. Right, uh, we're back with the car components, guys. Now, we'll obviously, save the um, me faffing around with the box. But, I must admit, one thing I've got to say, I do love this this bit of artwork here in the box. It's, it's really nice. Quite fetching. Shows off the tyres really well. Let's get rid of that for a minute. So we'll see what we get. Nice sturdy bit of cardboard. Gotta keep your thing secure. Obviously we've got the flying bases which we've all seen by now. Don't need to go into them. The manoeuvre dial bits. And a uh, card little paper component list. Which this is a nice change because, oh look, we've got a scenario. So what we've got, what's the cutting the cord? Well, I'll go through that in a second. 
and we've got um, different things. We've got the uh, the maneuvers available to the ship as well. So it's good. So if you want a certain extra scenario, so it's, it's worth it for that. Let's pay uh, pay an extra pound for um, that, or if you got it slightly cheaper, we'll go on you. And there's a nice, nice size little bag to keep your stuff in. So then, let's have a look at the components. Let's get the card out of the way. So you've got interesting um, token there. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll discover what that's for. Uh, looks like we've got eight possible um, pilots from this one. We'll just buy the... Uh, Going by the, the actual manoeuvre, the actual ship cards. Again, my double sided cardstock with an interesting, um, ooh, whatever these are. These look like, looks like something for the scenario, which could be quite fun. Looks quite interesting. Anyway, guys, that's the card components, which will uh, pop out in a bit. So, let's have a look at the pilots. So, let's get, uh, get it's done nice zoomed in here guys, so you can read it as well. I like the way the Fantasy Flight have not been shy when it comes to the, the cards themselves, because it's probably that they put them up on their websites. So we've got, who we got? Canor Jax. Alright, so we've got the usual intercept stats. Um, I think that's pretty much the same as usually... Um, Options for their actions. Oh, well, that's all like enemy ships in range one can perform focus or evade actions and can spend focus or evade tokens. Wow, that's quite that's quite nasty. That is so he's quite powerful. 26 sorry, 26 points only uh, able to have some upgrades as well. So that's could be quite a nice pilot to have. Oh, Kirk Hans, let's have a look. When attacking at range 2 to 3, you may spend one evade token to add one hit to your roll. I like that. That's, that's making. gives you some options whether do you want to evade or do you want to, do you want to focus. Oh. And then we've got the generic roll card pilot. Quite cheap at 22 points. Now we've got two of those, just in case you wanted to do that. Oh, then we've got the other squadron. Let's when you reveal a. Uh, I'll try and say it's right. Flippy turn. No, sorry, choreograph turn. Um, maneuver. You may treat the speed of that maneuver as one, three, or five. Oh, I do like that. So you can change your your, set, your length of your maneuver depending on what what, side, what what space you got available. And that was um, sorry, I didn't say his name. Didn't try to say his name. Tetran Kowal. Well, there we go. There we go. A nice nine one. A Lieutenant Lorraine. Lorraine. Alright. Now, when performing a barrel action, you may receive one stress token to use a uh, one bank turn template instead of the one forward template. That'd be, that's quite a, that's like a boost and a barrel roll at the same time. That's a, I do like that. 23 points though, so quite pricey for that move though. And then we've got the Sabre Squadron Pilot, 21 points, basics, and two of those. And then we've got some modification and a boost action cards, which I'm sure we've seen before. So, let's have a look at the upgrade cards we've got. Push the limit, I do like this one. Um, once per round, after you perform an action, you may perform one free action shown in your action bar. Then get a stress token, so it allows you to double up your um, your actions, or if you're even Darth Vader, triple up. And obviously, two of those, and of course, they've changed. Then, Ronnie, oh, opportunist. When attacking, if the air defender does not have any focus or evade tokens, you may receive one stress token to roll one additional attack dice. Ah, uh, you can't use it if you've got stress already, though. But very situation, very rare you get to shoot someone who doesn't have either focus or evade tokens. And again, we've got two of those. 
Target computer. There we go. Now we're talking two points to get the um, to be able to target lock your opponent. Two of those. It looks like we've got two of everything there just because it's um, makes sense when you've got two ships. Ah, hull upgrade. Increase your hull value by one. It's quite simple. Give yourself a shield for shield modification. And a royal tea. Excuse me. <coughs> royal guard tie. Titles. It's obviously evidently not unique. Very good. Very you well um, notice that. Oh, you can upgrade your ship with two modifications instead of one, but you can't have a pilot skill four or lower to use a card. But it's it's free, so it's uh can be worthwhile if we want to give you your ship some extra punch. So guys, I'm gonna have a quick read through the scenario and see if I can explain it to you, and I'll be back in a moment. Right guys, I've had a read through the scenario pack and I can tell you it's an interesting scenario. <laughs> that doesn't tell you what's on, does it? But the premise of the scenario is the rebels have stumbled across a Imperial Thai um, research facility and uh, there is currently ongoing a testing of a prototype Thai or Imperial ship going on. So, the Rebels get a bit of an advantage of 110 points to spend on a squadron and they can assign two rebel operatives to uh, to certain ships which we'll come into later but the Imperials have 100 points to spend on their squadron but they must include one non-unique ship which is going to take the part of the Thai prototype sorry not a Thai prototype just a Thai, the prototype in general you got to scatter the asteroids around with which you place facilities on. Now these facilities can be shot or you can have the operatives land on the asteroids and destroy them that way or just flip them face up so you know what they are. But the prototype can make use of these facilities by getting in range one of them and flipping the card himself knowing that when you flip the card they're easier to destroy for the rebels. But it does make this um, Tie or the keep calling it a tie, but it's not. Don't have to be a tie. The prototype makes it much more, much better ship. You can have one that turns all your hits to criticals. You can have one that gives you additional attack during your combat phase. And you have one, which are, this is my favourite, I think. Increase your primary weapon value by two and add one to your agility, like that. Or there's another one. Increase your hull by three. Makes it a lot harder to kill. Then one, you can't be attacked by secondary weapons. And then but I think my second favourite here, treat all your manoeuvres as green manoeuvres. Obviously you've got some to these tokens here for that we saw earlier are uh, for damaging the, the facilities. Keep track of their damage point rather than using cards. So all in all, nice um, little, little pack. Chip's got nice uh, nice upgrade cards. One thing I noticed is there's no, st no um, stealth device cards, which I was quite... Is what I like to run my interceptors with. So that's been the um, interceptor pack. Um, was it worth the extra pound uh, that you, you for the cost of uh, two ships, two interceptors? Uh, possibly, yeah, I'd say so. You've got a nice set of um, you got some different pilot cards. Got some different. Um, well, I say different. It's some card, some upgrade cards, but more upgrade cards which you, you can use on the target computer which is a, a new one for me and the opportunist um, all can be useful got some more tokens there to keep to add to your collection so I think yeah it's worth the extra pound for, as opposed to buying them two separately you get two different looking ships whether or not you're going to use them as the, the basic interceptor or the or normal if you've got normal the pilot cards it's up to you guys but I do think it's worth the extra pound for, for them buying two separately well, so what do you guys think? Drop a comment below. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button guys, it really helps me out. And we'll uh, see you around, hopefully I'll have some more unboxings soon. Thanks. Okay, that's done. Death Ring of Kane out. See you around guys.